you have a question, you can chat with the receptionist all you want. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. I'm sure you do. No, he isn't. We weren't expecting a VIP to come through today. Let me just run a few checks. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. There a problem? Not paid to talk. Yeah? You have a question? You can... Welcome to Slayton. There a problem? Not paid to talk. Yeah? You have a question? You can chat with the receptionist. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Well, if my wife and I could gallantly offer your majesty a rescue from certain death, let's go. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. Can 
can take it. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. Security is on full alert. Last! There's a vent above you. Just climb up. This is a private office. Let me just 
just get that for you. You know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one, I promise. Security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. You'll have to fight your way to the exit. What the heck was that? I can't do this! There's the door. It should take you outside. Outside? You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. Just some stupid noise.
You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Aren't you? In the back of your mind, through the tunnel vision of adrenaline, there's a part of you that belongs here. It happens to all of us. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. Hmm. You do make a bold point, but that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes, I'm beginning to see the opportunity. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. Now we have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I... thank you. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Have a nice day. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the settled systems. We 
Not sure if those were in zealots live in space. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to try. Us dead. I guess we can call that a win. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Some people call Issa a jewel, but she's more than that to me. I can't really describe it. There's a me, and a her, and an us. And I wouldn't trade the us for all the credits in Neon. Oh no! A great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Ship's ready. Just knowing what you are be dangerous. Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. Sensors. Uh, everyone. 
Someone's going to want to weigh in on this. How is Neon? Are you... are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves... The Starborn demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? None in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that, is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete, except that they're after the artifacts and they're willing to take them by force. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent, worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. something I'd like to discuss. Could we talk? The two of us make quite the pair, eh? Hello. There's something I need to talk to. I'd like to talk to you, Captain. I'm always too disgusted. Could have been your Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. No telling the exact number, but they're getting harder to find. Got some equipment, repairs, and upgrades on the making-do list. The eye's straining to her limits these days. Double-check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. What is it? Green.
idol here for a long time. I believe Barrett would describe.